I'm Shauna Opfer, Director of the Elementary Education Program at Concordia University. Every good teacher knows that developing positive relationships in the classroom is essential, but we also know that this is not always easy. I'm here to talk to you about class meetings as a springboard for positive, healthy relationships in your classroom. Class meetings involve students in the problem-solving process, and it creates an attitude of collaboration and cooperation that really helps positive relationships form. There are six criteria that I would like to talk to you about as you think about beginning class meetings. First, have a class meeting every day. Elementary students really need this routine to develop the skills necessary for the class meeting to be as effective as possible. Number two, form a circle. Yes, you're going to have to rearrange your room and move your desks for this to happen, but it's worth the time and effort in order for students to focus in this collaborative process. Number three, focus on solutions instead of consequences. It's important that the the focus be on solving the problem instead of tattling or airing out a laundry list of misdeeds. Number four, use a talking stick. Everybody has something to say at a class meeting, so make sure that you allow everyone to have a chance to voice their thoughts through the use of this talking stick. Number five, allow the student who put the item on the agenda to have the chance to so choose the solution that fits their needs best. This empowers the child and holds um, the group accountable, and that's a really important thing. Number six, allow time for training. Don't expect that the first time you do a class meeting it will go off without a hitch. Expect there to be some bumps along the road, but know that it's worth the time and effort in the long run. There are lots of books and resources available on this topic, so I encourage you to read up on it, um, remember these six criteria, and look forward to a thriving, positive classroom.